Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today's tutorial is on highlighting and contouring. Now I've had a few requests for this, um, so I've just got around to do it. So apologies for not posting this video up sooner. But um, yeah, literally in this video, I've gone through the process of what I would do for highlighting and contouring at the max. You can go heavier and you can go lighter and I'll go through all that in the video with you guys as well. So if you want to see how I do my highlighting and contouring, keep watching. So to start off with, I have done my base, so that's the foundation. I've just put peach colour corrector underneath my eyes and the top parts of my eye makeup. Now the level of highlighting and contouring I do depends on where I'm going. The basics being literally just powder, um, contour and highlight. Sometimes I have gone heavier by using cream contour then topped up with powder just to make sure it's uh, stayed put. Um, but the most I've ever done um, with regards to highlighting and contouring, which is usually on my brides, I will go through with you guys today. So highlighting and contouring is there to give shape and structure um, to your face and just to highlight and narrow down points that you want to either show or not show. Contouring is the darker shade and that is there to hide features or to try and give the illusion of hiding features or making slimmer. So for me personally, for my face, I generally tend to contour this area here which is the hollows of my cheek uh, and that generally brings out my cheekbones a lot better. I also tend to contour my jawline as well just to give it a sharper feature. The sides of my nose and definitely the tip of my nose because I've got a long nose and I feel that just putting a bit of the contour here makes my nose appear a little bit shorter. Also because I have a, a large forehead I tend to contour this area here as well. For highlighting they're usually the brighter shades. Now you can have matte highlights as well but generally the brighter the shimmery ones tends to give out a better glow especially on photos so I tend to stick with those the most. Now those are applied to the high points of the face that you want to actually bring out and show. Now generally I tend to do it up here which is the high points of my cheek here so that when you move it tends to glow nicely when the light shines on it. Even the bridge of my nose. Now some people like highlighting the tip as well. That's your preference if that's what you like by all means do do that but I personally don't like it on myself and I don't know whether it's because my nose is already long and I don't want to make it appear long but by all means do what you feel. I also tend to highlight here which is at my brow bone which I already have done. Sometimes I tend to do it here as well and also the inner corners of my eyes as well. That brings out everything. Some people tend to highlight here and on the cupid's bow as well. As I said just do what you feel better. So firstly I'm just going to highlight or basically conceal this area um, and I'm using my Naked Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer in the shade Medium Neutral. And the reason why I'm doing this bit first is that once I've applied it, I'm going to set it so it doesn't crease that much. So I tend to usually do like a upside down triangle in this area here. I go down the bridge of my nose with it as well. And on the other side. Tiny, tiny bit on my forehead. And I will today do this area here and just under the area that I would contour. I'm literally just going to buff that out with my um, Beauty Blender sponge and I have um, just dampened it with MAC Fix Plus Spray. I'm literally just going to set that with my kick-ass setting powder and this is so that um, my under eye area doesn't crease and all the areas that I've set it doesn't crease or cake. Just putting a thin layer of it on. Okay so whilst that is all just setting I'm going to be doing my contouring bits first and I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer and this is in the shade Beautiful Bronze and literally it comes like this and you just squeeze it and the product will come through the top so just going to give it a little squeeze just concentrate more of the color up there same on the other side all along my jawline as well on my chin just the sides of my nose
and the tip and then along the tops here. And then I'm literally just going to buff that out. Just using a Real Techniques brush for that. Then, whilst it's still cream, I'm going in with the Illamasqua highlight, and this is in the shade Gleam, which is a really nice goldy champagne colour. And literally, I'm just getting a tiny bit on my finger and just applying it to the high points of my cheeks here. Now, you can probably see a bit of a glow. And just on the other side. little bit down the bridge of my nose but this is literally just with whatever's left on my finger and a little bit on my cupid's bow then i literally just set my face with a light powder and this one today i'm going in with the um, mineralized skin finish powder by mac and literally patting the product onto my brush tapping off any excess and literally just rubbing it really really gently and this is just to take away any harsh lines from the contouring and the highlight that I've just applied I'm then going to be setting my contoured areas and today I'll be using my Sephora baked powder in the shade deep and I'm just be applying that with my Morphe M523 brush. It already has some product on it, unfortunately. I haven't had a chance to brush it out or clean it out, but um, it's the same product, so it should be fine. So whenever you're applying any products on your face, whether it is highlight contour or whether it's foundation, always do the cream or liquid-based products first before you set it with the powder ones. If you go over it again with the cream or liquid based, you will see a difference in consistency and it can look quite cakey as well. So I would tend to stick with the liquid and um, cream stuff first. And then once you're happy with that, go over and set it with the powder products. Then I would go on to my blush, which today I've chosen Dame by MAC, and this is a matte powder. And then for powder highlighting, I'm using the MAC Soft and Gentle one, and this is my all-time favourite, and I've come across so many um highlights that i absolutely love but this one has to be my all-time favorite it's suitable for any skin type which is one of the reasons why i like it i'm just applying that with my morphe m501 brush So I've just finished off my eye makeup and put my lippy on, which is Up The Amp by MAC. And with regards to contouring and highlighting, that is literally it. It can be a lot quicker. You can skip the cream highlight and contouring if you wanted to and literally just go on with the powder. But it's totally up to you with regards to the type of look you want to go for. With regards to the cream with the powder on top, it gives it more of a fuller, more of a heavier contour. Um, but if you want just a more subtle one, I would stick with just powder. Or maybe just um, lighten the shade of the contour colour that you tend to go for. Now, just because I've highlighted and contoured the areas on my face, it doesn't mean you need to highlight and contour the exact same areas. 
do it so it's suited to your face shape because if you try and do it to what I've done if you've got like a narrower forehead for example and you go and contour the top part it's going to make your forehead look even narrower so just do it according to your face shape so a few people have asked me to do a tutorial on strobing. Now I wanted to talk to you guys about it in this tutorial purely because strobing is literally intense highlighting without contouring. So literally all the areas that you would have done the darker bits you would avoid that but where you've done the highlighting point so it's here, 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 here anywhere where you prefer doing the highlight it is intensely highlighted and that is mainly for like um, photo shoots and things like that but also if you do have a more thinner face structure with more pointy features then highlighting I would say do more compared to contouring so if you guys still want to see that tutorial I by all means I don't mind doing it but it's literally what I have done with the highlighting points but just more heavy-handed so I hope you guys enjoyed this video on highlighting and contouring. If you do, please thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Get all your friends and family subscribing too. You can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook, which is Be Beautiful by Benita. I'm also on Snapchat, Benita underscore MUA. And you can also tweet me at Beauty by Benita. I'll see you guys in my next video.